I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Okay, apocalypse, really? The full atomic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse of your fallout shelter. Apocalypse, choose a character, Ted or Dolores. Select difficulty, little boy, fat man, Sarbamba. What do I do? Really? We just go to the most difficult setting? What the heck is going on here? What am I doing? What's happening? I don't understand, I don't understand. Who is this? Timmy, get off the bathroom floor, bro. No, Timmy's dead. I think I just killed Timmy. I don't, I don't know what's happening. What do I do? Food and water. No room. Oh no. What have I done? I don't understand what I'm doing. How do I drop stuff? Go to the bunker? What's in the bunker? Dude, I'm, I'm breaking everything right now. How do I get into the bunker, guys? Oh no. Why are you guys spamming rip? Day one. Day one, Timmy is- Oh, his name's literally Timmy? That's hilarious. Timmy is safe and that's what matters. We barely got here in time ourselves. We have no idea what happened to Mary, Jane, and Dolores. Maybe they're okay. We didn't bring any food at all, but hey, it has been worse, right? No one thought of collecting any water showering. Maybe overweight, overrated, but drinking is a habit. It's hard to shake off. There wasn't enough time to grab everything, but we have something to get started. Hope it's enough. Time to ration supplies. So my wife and daughter are dead. So Timmy's all we got. What's left? We have nothing left. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Day two. We made it to day two, everybody. This is huge. Everybody's saying restart, but I don't want to restart. Okay, uh, we have the ax. Day two. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling with the real shelter life, but we can't lose help. Ted is fine. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. But I need for a nap, Ted could try his best on the surface. Guys, I don't want to restart because I don't understand what I... I don't even understand what just happened. I've been hearing strange noises lately. It's coming from outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be we found nothing? We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before it gets worse oh my gosh we are dude we're already at day three what's the high score so it's not weird that timmy is now wearing a soup can on his head and pretends it's a helmet this is just innocent child's play or is it boredom can really get you in the shelter it can lead you to dark places trust us if ted isn't doesn't drink anything he won't last long timmy prefers apple juice but right now we should get him some water timmy's behavior is odd we still don't have any supplies Oh, wait, we have soup now. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who's trying to break into the can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling that we got luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Timmy really isn't himself. We're worried about him. Timmy's terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Okay, well, sorry, Timmy, but dad's got to eat. I mean, dude, I feel like day five is not terrible, right? Still, it's better than safe down here than, uh, than dead up there. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. I need to get a drink right now. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him... Bro. We're dead, dude. We're dead. I really messed up. Oh, yeah, we're literally dead. Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer opportunities and won't be that bad. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Well, I mean, that went about how I expected it to go, to be honest. Okay. Where's the water? Is this water? Gotta get water and food, dude. Do I save Timmy again? It's kind of a waste of space, honestly. All right, we'll take him. Wait, why does Timmy take up two spots? Okay, well, I'm getting water, dude. I feel like dehydration's worse. How do I get in the hole? Can I get more stuff? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I guess we'll get my daughter too. No, dude, I'm getting soup. Sorry. Get over there! So did I do that better? All right, we got a lot of water. Ration, okay, sorry. We can make it work even in Toronto. Question is how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that that's the best way to get to Europe. Today's been the Dolores thus far. No news is good news. 
Okay, we're skipping a day. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed the door and we were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a needle affair. We identified the source of sound. One of them was two rocks sitting against each other and constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they'd get lost. And what is happening, dude? We couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits. How rude. Dolores is doing quite well or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Looks like the good scout he is, Timmy, is making the best out of the situation. Just click icons to see if they need food. Thirsty? Thirsty. Do we do water yet or do we, do we hold off? All right, we're holding off. Where did all our water go? Okay, so do I do water now? Our refusal to provide for our visitors was not was rude, and yet the minute we denied their request, they launched at us with their fists, stones, and branches. We thought they were good as dead, but the barbarians were satisfied enough to steal our supplies. When they left, all we could do was ponder what to do. Very thirsty. They took all our stuff! We're not looking great right now. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores is really tired. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Timmy's really tired. That's not good, right? That's probably not good for us. Yeah, med kit looks good. Take the med kit! Why are we not grabbing the med kit? Hello? Why am I not? I can't grab anything. I can't grab anything. Okay, so this this mode lets us like get a little bit of time before everything goes to heck. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to run in this game. Check it's been forever, are you still doing funny vids? Yes, I am. Get the lock so you don't get robbed. Oh, okay. I mean, I feel like we're kind of set right now. Good enough, right? Almost all of us made it to the shelter almost. Dude, that poor daughter of ours. She has not made it once yet. All we can do is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned food. When we open the shelter door, we notice some of the shelves are already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all the supplies on here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Okay, so we got a map, we got another axe, and we got a med kit. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. It's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition, so that does make a lot of sense. We can't say that we were prepared for what happened. Dolores is fine. Timmy's fine. Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer opportunities and it won't be that bad. Ted is fine. Today's been the fine for Dolores thus far. Nothing new to report on Timmy. So they're just not, they're not too upset about the daughter. Send Timmy. How do I send Timmy? What do you mean? Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the service are a big risk for their health right now. Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead to dark places. Trust us, if Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Water is all Dolores wants. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Do I wait until they're dehydrated? How do I send Timmy? It's a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh air, maybe scavenge a thing or two, and we could survive the extra supplies. That is if we want to survive. What to take outside? Who should go? What do we give him? Timmy's gone. 
Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment, gas mask. Ted is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. What is that sound? A galloping horse? Oh, no. How do I... They get lost if they... They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them the luck on their guests. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Today has been fine for Dolores thus far. Do we eat? Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is included feature. We should probably try to do something about it, whatever we brought here. Where's Timmy, dude? Is Timmy dead? We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that what a regular pipe would be at the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably connection to the pipe, none whatsoever. Ted needs water to survive. Dolores will not last long without water. Dolores would really love something to eat. Thirsty and hungry. Thirsty. One's if I should feed them and drink them. What? Wait till starving. Two's if I should wait till starving. Feed every five days. Okay. I feel like something was starting staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it or to put it bluntly, it's either him or us. Axe or gun? I feel like axe is the way to go, right? Save the gun. Dehydration and hungry. Hungry and dehydration. Timmy's dead, huh, dude? Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores will not survive without wanting any longer. Ted looks like he's got a foot in the grave. He needs to drink right now. Ted is hungry. Do I give him food or no? It says dehydration. We might be safe inside these walls, but these are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger. Timmy's back! Holy crap, Timmy made it! Timmy, you're a savage. He's hungry and tired. Hungry, hungry, okay? Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested and now enjoy our time in the shelter, or can we? We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard. Our poor lawns and flowers, once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood, now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes covered by debris. There really isn't much left here. The only tree that's left is completely burnt out in a hollow area inside the dead husk mutated three-tailed squirrel made their home. They're pretty good at collecting stuff. Hope they don't mind us borrowing a few things. The garage still has two walls left, but nothing. But most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it. Through the blast, but weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Darn it, our gas masks was damaged during the expedition. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is no longer thirsty. Dolores has nothing to eat for a while. T D Dolores is no longer hungry. Hungry and tired. Hungry. Hungry. Do I feed or do I move on? Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the service area are a big risk to our health right now. Dude, I mean, let's send the wife, dude. Let's send the wife. Like, she's just sitting here judging me for everything, right? Starvation. Hungry. Starvation. <laughs> Should we send her with a harmonica? I'm gonna send her with a harmonica, dude. I don't know if that was stupid, actually. Uh, I did that for the memes, but uh, honestly... <laughs> I'm a little tired myself, I think. She's dead, she's dead. Stupid, but funny. Okay, well, at least it was funny. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Equipment, harmonica. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Timmy is in terrible shape. I mean, dude, that seems like it was happening long before the shelter, but okay. We need to give him water now. Timmy is very hungry. Touch should drink something soon. Thirsty and starvation. Give him some soup. Dehydration and hungry. Give him some water. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves some more in trouble. It's even possible a situation. Our hope is that brave soldiers would come and rescue us and take us to well-hidden stock government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Sure. Day 11. Not bad. Uh oh, Timmy's thinking. Is that good or bad? 
Good news, the government made radio broadcasts about exciting survivors, about extracting survivors. Dude, I have dyslexia and this is tough. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Timmy should eat something. Timmy has rested. Timmy is no longer thirsty. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to drink right now. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Dehydration and hungry. Okay. Water. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing. Somehow it seems to be ringing right now. We should ha send somebody to answer it. I don't know, dude. It's probably somebody trying to get their freaking insurance. It's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of the radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It looked, took a while before the ringing stopped, but it was pretty annoying for all of us. Ted is hungry. Ted is no longer thirsty. Timmy is very hungry. 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 Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there are any trouble in our area as we were about to step out a pair of animal eyes flash in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. 100% shoot him, dude. Kill him. They're dead. They're gone. Quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. Ted is hungry. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Timmy di Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Starvation. Hungry. Thirsty. A knock on the door is not something we take lightly these days, so when a man came to our doorstep today offering a highly profitable game of cards, we weren't convinced. It's a bet of two soup cans and a card game. Reasonable choice for a situation. Bro shot Pancake? What do you mean Pancake? I shot a dog named Pancake? No! How do you know? I think the wife's dead, everybody. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set with kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Ted is really thirsty. Thirsty and starvation. Dehydration and hungry. We heard something about supplies drops on the radio this is just what we need to survive and it's not supposed to happen near the house shall we go out and find if it's really happening what do we do It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio and static is relaxing. Timmy should eat something Timmy is no longer thirsty. Okay. Dehydration hungry. Trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspicious big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't there that big before the war, were they? Oh no. I think the wife's dead, guys. No, she's back! Sweetie, honey, and she brought the harmonica and playing cards. Yuck, a mutant cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge. Uh, sorry. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We're our, we already feel dirty. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We used to go to this little store for groceries. They always had the windows closed. The sign stated, we assure you that we're open. We found some food left inside. Most food in the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Good for us. Plus four soup, dude. We found a shelf with a big sign that read everything for one 99 cents. The only thing left were bottles of water. Expensive. We thought the dark alley with supplies neatly stacked at the end looked promising, but to our complete surprise, it was an ambush. A bandit came out of nowhere trying to intimidate us with a rifle and some really bad breath both aimed in our direction we panicked tossed something at him and made a run for it the harmonica we threw him right at him in the forehead knocking him unconscious y'all doubted and we got some playing cards dude Hungry, hungry, tired, hungry. The contamination of our town is still strong. You guys hear that knocking? We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news, the fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel the surface now. Ted is hungry. Dolores is tired and can't seem to sleep it off. Dolores will not last long without water. Dolores has barely any strength left. She doesn't eat tonight. She will not last all morning. Hungry. Tired, thirsty, starvation, hungry, thirsty. So the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, only one, you'll only live once. I don't know if that is the motto. I don't know if that is the motto. Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, want to buy a rock. We calmed down when we realized the voice belonged to old man Jim, who used to live in our town. Well, at least we think he did. We just never quite figured out where he stayed. We should probably answer this question. Impolite to keep waiting like that. No, dude. If he's old... See ya. 
We did the only reasonable thing in this situation, which is to shout really loud that nobody is home. The old man soon left and he didn't bother us anymore. Dolores complains that she still can't get a good night's sleep anymore. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Okay. Thirsty, starvation, dehydration, dehydration and starvation. Bro, you're killing us. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. Let's send Ted. Let's send him with the gun. Ted left for the surface. We'll hope he'll be back soon. Dolores would really love to eat something. Okay. Tired, hungry, hungry. These cockroaches aren't playing around. They're very territorial. Oh no, dude. Oh no. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing our pillows and socks and wallets, why would roaches need wallets? That's the smell. Horrible. Tired and hungry? Hungry. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about the evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivals were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Dude, I'm getting scared of these cockroaches. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Dolores complained she still can't get a good sight. Tired, thirsty, starvation, fatigued. That's not good, dude. Fatigued? Is she dead? Whoops. Maybe... Let's just give her both and see if that helps. Ring, ring. There were thinking about. We never leave her telephone again. Suddenly, the phone starts ringing from outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go and answer it? No. What happened to bro? What is this jug of water? Way too dangerous to just randomly run to the ringing phone in the middle of the radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Dolores complains. Okay. Tired, fatigued, hungry. Dehydration, starvation. Oh, my face cam is blocking his face. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember from... Dude, the grind never ends, bro. Remember from before the apocalypse, we came over with a bunch of leaflets, tried to convince this someone called Astro Citizen, but he refused now. He just wants supplies and says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. Do we believe it? Do we do it? I feel like we got a lot. I think Ted's dead, so I think we, uh... I think we give him some soup. <gasps> Ted is alive! Ted! He's looking like Ted Bundy, though, unfortunately. We are generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America is working a space station in Orbit, or rather, he's... That guy exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. A working space station. What a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated that he started doing tricks on him. To save a return from his voyage to the surface. During our expedition, we stumbled across half-ruined wall with some half-burnt paint on it. We quickly realized we found the ruins of our local museum. Normally, we would have entered and salvaged one of the measures. We jumped over the turns. Plus two water, plus two soup. Nice. We were hoping for some sweets or snacks. Dolores would really love to to eat something dolores oh we got a lock we'll love to eat some dolores still tired and can't seem to sleep it off ted is hungry hungry tired tired hungry fatigued hungry if this plane tastes as water dolores is really craving a cup of coffee real true blue american coffee the kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy but we are going to find that the soy slain while dolores favorite diner is uh used to be a few blocks away maybe someone could go on a coffee run but who i mean if you want a coffee so bad get out there and get it yourself jeez louise our volunteer came back empty-handed. Apparently, the diner is now just a sad hole in the ground. Starvation. Bro ate yesterday, and he's hungry again? I don't know. Was that bad? We won the battle, but maybe in the whole war after the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter door. Let that be a warning to all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Today, we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a trader. He insisted prices are so low, it's practically like cutting our own throat. The least we could do is offer a look at his and you don't really trust him. They offer poison for a lock. They offer gas masks for a gun. Mm, no. Despite his desperate attempts to sell us kinds of things, he useless and turned down a man's offer. It's probably for the better. It looks quite untrustworthy. Ted is hungry, tired and hungry, fatigued and hungry. Tank just sitting there in the open. It looks damaged, but it may be. Do we send somebody to the tank? We'll send Dolores. She's like so tired. Like just get out and go do something if you're so tired. 
Honestly, relatable, Ted. Relatable, brother. The last thing we expected was a giant explosion. Once we had waded through all the static, we found a transmission that was hosted by some nut talking about conspiracies and saucers from men Mars talking people. It was pretty amusing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We set off on an expedition in a nearby zoo where we visited weekends. We're so happy to report that it's productive supply run as well as educational trip. We saw pterodactyls. Wait, what? Pterodact whales? We saw pterodact whales? Are we, are we going crazy? Chimpandeers? A porcupony? And a small army? of cockroaches and other major creatures that are merged cat roaches oh no we're going crazy dude running away from humongous terrain raptors we made the escape through oh no it's the radiation okay we got a flashlight though that's good dang dude i can't believe the wife blew up we wasted all that stuff on her just for her to blow up hungry tired fatigued a sleazy looking trader carrying an equally school scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit he offered a simple one-time deal for just one can of soup we get the bag and all of its contents we can't see what's inside and the trader gives us an angry glances every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag should we make a deal i'm down dude he might be a tiktoker dude that's the thing he might be a tiktoker it's like a ps5 or something what's happening oh we have a cat sherikov as soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. Tired, fatigued, hungry. This way, if Timmy dies, we can just feed it to the cat. Or feed Timmy to the cat. Thirsty starvation. Military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of the here. Turns out they need our help. A speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park. It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this might make it easier for them to extract us. We never even liked that park, so let's do this already. Nah, dude. No way. Cap. No, no, no. Timmy. No, no, no. The cat can eat Timmy. Where's the cat? Oh, it's on the shelf. Hi, little kitty. Bro, I can't tell if this is Timmy or Ice Spice. We're not lumberjacks. We're not chopping down the park. Maybe another time. Ted is hungry. I'm gonna give him both so that hopefully he like perks up a bit, you know, so he can go run some errands for me. Ring, ring. There we were thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. And suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go and answer it? I mean, what would Ice Spice do? We answer the phone. We clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves to survival, survivals from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information. The call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. Hopefully, it will get back to us. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Hungry, thirsty. There's nothing more annoying than silence, and that's all that we're getting from our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? We sure know staring at it won't help. Well, we did what we could, but we still can't hear anything. Dang it, Ted was still, okay. Dehydration and starvation. Tired, fatigued, hungry. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse, it's worse, there's spiders and, oh no, oh no. Are we gonna die to spiders? <coughs> While we were asleep, Sherikov made short work of those pesky, let's go. We lost Pancake, but Sherikov held it down. We grabbed a new fluffy fan for a little stroll through the wastes, only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, fedoras, and shades. They gritted, they gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat and said they're looking for it. And they belongs for their dear old nan, and just dearly before we could utter a word, they took Sherikov, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't mind, so maybe it's for the best. Oh no! We lost the cat! Bro, what is he thinking about right now? He's literally hitting us with the, oh? Ted left for the service, we'll hope you be back soon. You know what? If Timmy was home alone, dude, he'd be eaten up. Let's be honest. Hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They're not getting away with that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Too bad we never practiced sharpshooting every shot fired. Okay, of course, Timmy, dude. Of course. Stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods. Stop by today. He claimed a trader looking to barter for some items. Oh, I feel like this uh, poison might come in handy. Oh, no. He's only offering water. I don't need that. Our cat's back. Refused to trade. Hopefully, he might made the right choice, but the trader was not too happy about this. Uh-oh. Found Sharkov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure how or why, but it came back. Our good care appreciates our kind hearts, optimism, or just... There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks get got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's smell coming from its terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Yes. 
In the hole, fearing something came at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated sharp body parts, and found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. Found a dead rat? Oh, okay, wait, he, f okay. Nice. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big mo meowing furball. What is that thing anyways? Nobody remembers these there before. The cat might get angry if we take it away, the wire. So it's best to leave it, or should we examine the wire? Nah, it's probably fine. What happened to Ted? You really want to risk upsetting Sharkov by taking his toy away. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just leave the wire. Ted is safe to return from his voyage to the surface. The local school is a big building a mile away from our house. Nobody liked that place. The atomic blast didn't change that. Now without windows and walls remaining, it looks even more unpleasant. Pleasant or not, a good spot to hunt for some useful supplies. Everybody adored the lunch lady. I got chat. I don't want to hear a thing about it. She was almost 80 and everything she touched tasted great and smelled of tomato. Now we know her secret tomato soup cans biology class had an aquarium office school oh my gosh dude we're stocked up just drive away from this nightmare somehow curse on meals blah, blah, blah. maybe if we feed him it'll make him less sick also in the area were asked to head to the nearby park and cut down trees nope I don't know how much longer Ted's gonna be with us, dude. We need we need a uh, we need our boy to go get some some uh, med kits. Okay, brother cannot hit a shot to save his life, so we're sending him with the axe. We might not have Ted for very long, dude. Okay. The authors of the note turned out to be twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where they started handing out supplies. And we brought to a small group of hungry survivors between them and people in their Siblings shook our hands. In the beginning of a new friendship, they promised to contact us again soon. Dude, I'm gonna just keep feeding them every day, right? Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us to create beautiful sounds to share with the world around us to sing and play. No. Sudden urge to play past as fast as it came. We just didn't like him anymore. We welcomed a probably crazy alleged scientist into our shelter today. Turns out Sharikov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered -man pet, but also a scientist's highly valued assistant whom we call Dr. Sharikov. The cat's disappearance has left the doc struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as a compensation for keeping the helper away. Cat didn't care. Clearly wants to stay. The doc might be really crazy, but we may be his knowledge of something in the long run. Okay. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Ted is very tired. A few days is what he needs. We heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened up, we find a suitcase on the doorstep with no one around. It isn't signed, but the suitcase looks like a mess. Where should we check what's inside? Yes, it's from the it's from the twins. Please be a med kit. Oh no, Ted is sweating, dude. By the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck! It expired a long time ago. We're not feeling it. Uh, dang it. A few more hours of coughing, and we'll get used to it. Our vacation settles. We have to fix it before. Ted's gonna die. You guys think so? <gasps> He's looking better. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured out it's full of pointers on how to fix things. Check and her bun. Cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from a crazy scientist urging us to help him with his next project. He's building some sort of vehicular contraption. That is fine. Old Faithful? I think we sent him with the gun. Oh, dude, speed running right now. Ted left for the service. We hope he'll be back soon. Our shelter finally came in handy. We used it to secure a door home, leaving for an expedition. When we came back, found signs of an attempt to break in. The paddock was too damaged to be used again, but at least for our safe house as well. Safe. Dang it. Yeah, Timmy's dead. Timmy's really dead. Send Ted. I don't, I can't. I don't think I can. Siblings have visited us today. Told us they're searching for a town safe place. So we just got a second map. It might be friendly, but is, is it really worth it? We only have one map and it's way too precious. They will have to find their own. Oh no. I thought they were offering a map.
What happened to us? Oh no. Ted left for the service. We'll hope you'll be back. Our volunteer has temporarily left the shelter to build a rocket that he can use to get out of the wasteland. Ted is safe and back in our shelter. It seems different. Ted still has recovered from his energy. Ted was hurt. It's useless. We probably won't be able to find those prescription of the drugs. Let's just take matters in our own hands. Here's an idea. Let us use the innocent looking bug spray to create life saving drugs. Sure. What does it mean to be fatigued? I don't really know. Oh no. Okay. We messed up. We messed up. We messed up. <sighs> what do you know? Combining American innovation and deadly bug spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. We'll worry about the side effects later. Let's just give homie everything. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, technically we have all the time in the world. Should we try it? No. He has a sock puppet on his hands. Dude, Ted's going crazy. I'm just going to keep giving him water and food. There are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We now offer a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door and my supplies inside. Of course, chances. Should we pay them a visit? Yes. What the heck is that on the wall? We're now richer than some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. It's just let's never mention this the whole thing again. Oh no, dude. I'm sending Ted out, dude. He doesn't look great, but we gotta do something. Oh, I guess we can't. Yeah, Timmy's dead. The wife and Timmy are both dead. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Ted is mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Time to ration supplies. Let's just keep giving homie, uh... Some food. We got a lot of food. There's one sure way to get out our attention. It's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Who knows if we'll reach our destination to be fair. I'm not sure where our destination is. Doc didn't tell us that. So we sent him to the moon? Have you guys seen this ending before? Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He still needs a drink right now. We survived for 73 days. Reach for the stars. Is that a secret ending? Is that the harmonica flashlight combo ending? Your fate remains unknown. Dude, wow. What an ending. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. That was fun.